Alright everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Imanshu and in this video we are going to talk about an interesting concept and a very very useful thing in JavaScript and this is something that we are doing in understanding so that we can kickstart our lightning web component journey. This is spread operator in JavaScript. Right? So before even starting on you know what spread operator is, let's take a look at this orange section right here, the analogy that I put. Imagine you have a deck of cards which is more like an array, right? Why is it an array? Because you have 52 items of the same th same kind, right? So 52 cards, which is basically one deck. Now, you spread it across for people to choose or pick, right? So spread operator actually allows you to lay down all the cards. That's what spread operator does, okay? So you can see those individual cards in a relevant way and whichever you want to use, you can use wherever you need. Alright, so here in this example, the deck is the array, which is of 52 items and the spread operator or maybe the person who's actually, you know, laying them down is acting like the spread operator. Okay, if that is not a relevant example, I'll give you one more. Let's say you have a backpack, right? And you have gone for a trip and now you have come back, right? So the backpack will have a lot of elements or items inside it, right? And as soon as you start to you know take all of these items out spread it on your bed and then rearrange your entire backpack you do that right so the spreading around is basically what the spread operator helps you do okay so spread operator is like a magic trick in javascript that allows you to spread out the elements of an array or properties of an object into individual pieces so a collection of something is basically laid down individually and then you can mess around with it play with it do whatever calculations manipulations you want to do that's what spread operator does okay and it is primarily used to create a copy of an array without modifying the original what does that mean that means let's say you have a specific collection or a specific object in your hand and you actually want to make changes to it but you don't want to change the original array what do you do you create a copy of it right and when you create a copy of it and then you you can use the spread operator on that copy basically that's what it helps you do all right, let's say you have different arrays created and at the end your final result needs to merge all of them together. Can you merge multiple arrays together? Yes, you can by using the spread operator. It's a very good useful thing. If you know what it is, you'll be able to use it at a lot of places. Okay, so now I think I have the program is opened here. I'll get rid of this uh, extra stuff and let's talk a bit more about the spread operator. So we'll try to add an element using the spread operator. Okay, so we'll try to add it now. Console.log. Right? Before writing console.log, let's let's define an array. Okay. Let my favorite actors be. Alright. So I'm going to just put some names here. Let's say you have Virat Kohli. You have Shahrukh Khan. And let's say you have Gautam Gambhir. I know these are not actors, all of them, but it's fine. Okay, just random values on a particular collection. And I'm going to just print this out. All right, let's say run. All right, now this is your array right here. Now I'll tell you, I'll show you what a spread operator is. It's basically three dots. That's all that it is. It's three dots. This is the spread operator. Very fancy. Okay, I'll show you why. Now, let's try to add an actor in this particular array. All right. So these are my favorite actors. And I'm going to say let my new favorite actors be. Now I want to actually define who are my new favorite actors. Like I have these three people, but I want to add more. All right. So what am I going to do? I'm going to actually use the spread operator here. So spread operator is always prefixed and you use the array i mean the array name or the variable after it so it will basically be three dots and then you put the array name that's basically the use of the spread operator okay these three dots are basically the spread operator if, if that makes sense as simple as that all right now we actually i'll just get rid of this right here now I want to actually add values here. So what do I do? I have this array with me, which has three elements. Now let's say I have 
to let's say add someone in the starting index or I have to add someone in the end of the index meaning at the end of the collection or the beginning of the collection can I do it like this yes this is a short code which is available okay so if I'm going to let's say uh, write Karthik Aryan here right and if I'm going to let's say write Jack Sparrow here all right and if I am going to console log my new favorite actors let's see what happens did you notice the three stay here the first one gets added in the first the second one get, gets added here can you put comma separated more values here yes you can that's it's very simple so what will happen the copy of this particular array will be sent here and then whatever you have added will, will also be added according to the index that you are using here so front will be before this back will be after this make sense so that's basically how you can add elements using the spread operator and you can add just one element you might have a requirement that say you know you have let's say 50 record ids in your uh, array and you want to actually add one more but it needs to be in the beginning of your collection so that you start your processing on that so spread out operator will be helpful there okay what if let's take a look at this so let's try to create we talked about adding an element let's try to create a copy of an object okay so we want to copy an object how do you do that so i'll just say let my favorite numbers be so let's say 3 comma 7 comma 327 let's say these are my favorite numbers okay how can i create a copy of this array let's say i have to use it for some use some use case okay very basic examples but just to understand the property of the spread operator but let's say i want to use it how do i do that i actually simply say let my fav numbers copy is equal to and very simply i'll just say three dots my fav numbers what will that do that will automatically create a copy of my favorite numbers and store it in this particular variable let's see three seven twenty seven is in the new my favorite numbers copy and that's how easy it is to copy your collection what if instead of an array you had an object okay so i'll talk about an object let my personality be if it is an object it will be curly braces right i'll say name and then i'll say age okay i think i'm 30 now yeah name and age so name himanshu age 30 channel name salesforce makes sense if i were to print it out let's print my personality run so there's something wrong here what's the issue i have given an equal to here it should be a colon okay that's the problem here i'll say run again it's giving me the array right it's giving me the object but i want to create a copy what do i do i'll say my personality bot is equal to I'm going to use the curly braces and I'm going to say my personality inside it. This is how powerful the spread operator is. Right? So you define an object and inside you told that just take a copy of this particular object that you already have. And now if I just try to print it out, my bot or let's say a AI generated personality I've created, it will basically give me the same result and it will copy over my capabilities to the bot. Make sense? Let's try to merge multiple objects together. So if you have, let's say, let my, uh, what could it be? Let's say my, I don't know, I'm, I'm running out of examples, but let's probably take fruits and vegetables, okay? My favorite fruits, let my favorite veget veggies, okay? And I don't think they need to be um, objects, but okay, no worries let's just say name apple name okay not mango carrots right and let's keep that as the use case okay now i want to merge my favorite fruits and vegetables to print it on the console what do i do i simply say console.log my favorite fruits comma 
my favorite veggies but i need to use the three dots so that i can tell the system that it, it is a spread operator okay there is a mistake in this line did you already realize it if yes that's good this is not an array it is going to be an object so you need to use curly braces not the square brackets and if i print it out and say run it's only printing carrots which is weird it should print both of them together right so there's some issue here let's see what it is the key is same that's that's probably why it is the problem so i'll say fruit name and i'll just say veggie name let's see what happens now okay because the key was same it was not able to resolve it so interesting thing that we found out but if the the keys have to be different and you can actually merge it here all right so this is uh, this is how you use your spread operator and you you might not realize the power of it yet but it will help you at a lot of places when you are using it in lwc we'll talk about it all right like a very simple use case i can talk about is you know let's say you have a function you want to add three numbers okay and it basically takes three inputs let's say you have three numbers a b and c right and you want to just simply return the sum of it so it will be a plus b plus c right let's put it in a bracket so this is basically what you want to return and you want to actually call this method now right so if i were to say add and i say 2 comma 3 comma 4 right let's see what this prints run so it prints 9 right but not always will you have these numbers in your hand in a comma separated form you might have an array right numbers to process let's say this is the array that you're getting from one of your other functions and this has a value of 2 comma 3 comma 4 what will you do you'll use the spread operator here right so you'll say simply numbers to process what will this do this will spread it out and add them in this particular function powerful right same value so there are very small things which help you actually uh, uh, which for which uh, spread operators uh, really help you okay now spread operators allow immutability right this means they are very helpful in creating copies without modifying the original so they'll not modify anything that you have on the actual variable it will just help you create a copy okay and it creates a shallow copy what is a shallow copy it means basically you might have nesting here let's say you have an object uh, for example let's take a look at this object right shallow copy means that the reference still stays the same in this in the memory okay that means the copied data will actually still point to the same reference so let's say you have a memory here this is your memory okay let me try to draw it out for you this is your memory area okay and this is where variable a is this is where variable b is a is holding a value 24 b is holding a value himanshu right when you use the spread operator right it you create a new variable but the value of a and b is basically still the same it's just pointing it out it's just pointing to that particular a value pointing to that particular b value and showing it to you and storing it for you okay so it still refers to the same same memory for nested uh, objects and arrays okay which means it does not create a duplicate that's what i'm trying to say it does not create another a and b and creates a copy it does not does a, do that it might create the copy of the main variable but let's say you have something here like uh, name comma age comma fav hobbies is equal to this is an array inside an object so this information if you try to copy will still be the same it will reference it it will not create a duplicate array for you that's what it, what that's what the meaning of shallow copy means okay shallow copy nested and inner elements still reference the same memory and whenever you're merging something you you see we merged two different arrays or objects or whatever the order in which you have written it will be the order so fruit name apple will always come first so this will be helpful when you actually want to run something in a sequence from two different collections right so first account ids and then contact ids so this sequence will help when you are using the merged result all right so that order will be determined based on how the values are overwritten and how you have actually used them in your spread operator framework all right great sample question combine dc and marvel superhero so i'm just going to get rid of all of this and the question is to actually combine your favorite dc and marvel superheroes so let's say i have to create two different arrays to store my favorite superheroes so let's say let my fave dc superheroes 
is one array let me just capitalize the h here copy this particular line paste it again and i'll say my favorite marvel superheroes okay and let's probably have two in each i'd want you guys to also have two in each and let me know so dc and marvel let's see dc superhero list who are DC superheroes? Okay, uh, Batman, Green, Barry Allen is here. So this is my favorite actually. So I'm going to say The Flash. That's the first guy. And I really like Green Arrow. So I'm just going to put Green Arrow. That's not the name of the people actually, but that's the TV series I actually used to watch a lot in college. And I really like The Flash and The Green Arrow. Yeah. And Marvel superhero list. Let's take a look at that. Who all are in Marvel? So you have Wolverine, Spider-Man, Daredevil, Hulk, Iron Man. I really like the Hulk. And let's probably just put three, no problem. Okay, and now the use case is actually to merge all my favorite superheroes because they are all coming together for a Avengers uh, a movie screening, okay? So what am I going to say? My favorite superstars is equal to, and I'm going to say, use my spread operator and simply take the name of my variables and that's how easy it is to merge different collections be it objects or be it arrays or be it arrays without with, within objects and if you try to run this i have not printed it out so console.log my favorite superstars coming for the screening are these people right here flash green arrow hulk this looks very simple. Oh, Himanshu, these are just two values and one value. What if you had 20,000 records here and 500 records here? You have to merge that, right? In that case, it really helps. Let's quickly check what happens if I put the same value twice and I try to merge it. What happens? See, the value is duplicated. Okay, so that means that the merge will not eliminate and will not contain uniques. It will simply merge the values. You have to take care of the uniqueness of it. All right, so these are two different values. All right, that was a very simple superhero sample question. Do try it on your own. And now what I really want you guys to do is actually give these five questions a try. Very simple, will probably take just five to 10 minutes. Pause the video here and try it out and comment on the video as soon as you're done. So, you know, your favorite crit cricketers, one fruit and one vegetable, one with name and age, another with city and country, uh, numbers from an array. I think I already showed you this, but give it a try on your side and create a new object from an existing one, but override one of the properties with a new value. Try to do that, okay? That's all I think from the spread operator side. And how is this relevant for LWC? Like I said, you'll be using a lot of arrays and objects for sure for any kind of data that you get from server or you get from the UI, you'll use it to actually copy and create shallow copies of it. A lot of time you have to manipulate the data right and then you have to send it to apex or let's say a lot of time you'll get data from apex and you have to manipulate it and then show it on the ui either ways if you need to create copies you can use the spread operator as simple as that okay a real use case would actually look like this let op record is equal to this is going to be your op record right id would have a value name of the opportunity right account id so you'll have this you will have child records so let's say items or what whatever it is called quote quotes quotes will basically be an array right each array will have an um, attribute so id again right then you would have the name of the quote right you'll have the price you would have the product so you see how complex it is going to get and you have to actually use it for your ui so you have to create a copy modify the quotes and then send it to the ui how do you do that you actually create a copy what by using the spread operator if and wherever necessary all right i hope that made sense and uh, if it did just put a comment and just say spread operator makes sense not a lot of people understand what spread operator really does so it's a really good tool to have under your belt and you know uh, try to show it off wherever you're actually working on lwc or javascript cool all right i think that's all as part of this particular tutorial in the next one we are going to talk about the this keyword another interesting thing very simple nothing fancy but we'll talk about the this keyword in the next tutorial all right great i'll talk to you in the next one bye